How's it going, everybody? Rye Brad here today. We are back with your Calgary Flames ready to defend our title officially here in the 2028, right? Uh, it's been a while. It's been a long time coming. We won the 2027 Stanley Cup Championship. And that, I mean, I feel like that's pretty good. Uh, it took us a little bit, I think, at the start. We relied too much on youth and didn't go out and get some studs. And the second we did, we looked really good. Uh, right after the trades happened with getting Tage Thompson and Dmitry Zykov, um, and they propelled us to a playoff appearance. The full, first full season they were together, we won the cup, and now we have another chance to defend our title. Now, the big moves came at the deadline. We acquired Eric Carlson and Owen Power. I feel like this really boosts our defensive core quite a bit. Uh, Mason Jackson going up would get us a plus three over Boakvist. Um, I guess power could go up too, but I, I really do like the balance we have here um, for our roster. But Kuzmenko, Zykov, Thompson is, again, a fantastic first line. And this second line, guys, is better than a lot of teams' first lines. We still have depth here with Leka, Ramaki, Zari, and Paterka, and our fourth line is a standard fourth line. In net, we'll see how Spencer Knight does. He is an 89 uh, elite goaltender right now with a bunch of X-Factors. The question is, is he going to play like it? He's played like a pretty solid goalie, but at six million ish a year and then 89 overall, I'd kind of expect more. But you know, we are the road team here against Vancouver. I will preface that by saying, guys, I'm not too concerned about that, just simply because we are that good of a team, right? 107 points, and we are the three seed in the division. Our division got loaded after we won the cup. Everybody's trying to stop us. I mean, heck, we're tied for fifth place in the league with the Florida Panthers. Um, I I would give us the nod. I know they've got more regulation wins, but we have more outright wins, right? Regulation and overtime. So I guess we just had a lot more shootout wins, which I guess is not too much to brag about, but still top five team, in my opinion. Um, very, very excited to see what we can do. We should be one of those. No, uh, maybe maybe nobody's picking us, right? But we, we, we want to make some noise here, right? I don't think it's going to be one of those, ah, we're just happy to be here. If we win a couple rounds, I'm satisfied. No, I want to make a deep run again. So let's see what the Vancouver Canucks, our first round opponents, will be throwing at us to try and stop us from retaining our title. This is the, really the first test. Winning the series, I'll feel pretty good. Although their top line is ridiculous, right? JT Miller, Elias Pettersson, Brock Besser. That is, I mean, Elias Pettersson at 96 overall. He just makes that line look so insane. Their second line is pretty close to ours. I'd obviously give us the edge because we don't have Vasily Podkolzin, right? We've got a, a bona fide second liner there in Mangiapane. Our third line, pretty similar. Again, they are probably like one winger per line weaker than we are, right? I mean, obviously the second line, our second line is probably the best second line in the league, but their fourth line does actually look pretty good with Jake Evans, Tyson Jost, and Nick Bukestad. Uh, defensively, they've got Hughes and Hronick. That is insane. Like, that's what I want. I want something like that. And I was, I'm hoping Mason Jackson can get there, but so be it. If he doesn't, uh, we'll, we'll pivot, right? But we got Eric Carlson, Owen Power, Mason Jackson, and uh, Adam Boakvist. So I think we got a little bit more depth than they do. Shillington, welcome back. Uh, I think we got a little bit more depth. Uh, Nikita Zadorov, welcome back. <laughs> we have more depth, but I think they've got the more elite talent. And then in goal, um, no more Demko, but they had an elite goaltending tandem of Thompson and Bobrovsky this season. Uh, Thompson, I mean, he was actually, he fell off a little bit. He was really, really good um, for the most part of the season. That's why I thought we might be able to catch them, as I didn't think he could keep up that level of play, and he didn't. But we could not catch them. Obviously, two points behind them in the standings, uh, and then we're like six, seven points behind the Oilers. So either way, it doesn't matter. As a reminder, I get to jump into one period per series, and I do that because I like to actually play the game and have some fun with it. Um... You know what I'll do? I'll, I'll do this right now for you guys. Those of you that have, I've seen, it's popped up in my comments. It's popped up. I promise. Um, some of you are not happy that I am playing the games. I'm going to bump it up to Superstar. I'm I'm going to go to Superstar. So it will be even harder now for me. I mean, obviously, it's never a guarantee when I jump in. We've seen that. But um, here we go. Let, let's do it. Superstar difficulty. If I do decide to jump in only one time per series and... You know, only the third period. So let's go. First period, though, of the first game. Nobody scoring with Vancouver with a significant lead in shots. I dislike that. Second period, 2-1. I like that a lot. Zykov on the power play and Siona. Tyson Joe. So both fourth lines are stepping up in a big way there. Um, and now we're going into the third period. Can we hold on to this lead? Yes, we can. We actually extend it. Tage Thompson and Lekaramaki. I love to see basically every line scoring but the second line. Uh, Dmitry Zykov on the power play, though, I guess. Two power play goals from our top end 
goal scorers of Thompson and Zykov. I'll take it. And game one goes the way of your Calgary Flames. 4-1 in game one. And I love that. Owen Power has lost morale because of recent individual performance. I think that's fine. Uh, Barron's lost morale because of locker room interactions, but that's okay. Our, our fan happiness is at 82, and the locker room chemistry is at 76. So I'm, I'm pretty pleased. So let's go ahead. Game number two on the road. We stole one on the road. Can we steal two on the road? Stealing two on the road is a bit greedy, but hey, we're the defending Stanley Cup champions. I'm allowed to be a little bit greedy. First period, 3-1. Beautiful. JT Miller gets the goal scoring started, but Dmitry Zykov bounces back with two of his own. And Huberto, our power play, has come to play in these first two games. Vancouver, I uh, got to work on that penalty kill. Something you got to do in real life, too. Second period, Huberto scores our third goal on the power play, and we're up by three. And in the third period, Nils Hoglander scores on Spencer Knight, but 4-2. Being able to score four goals a game, it would be elite for us. Allowing two, one, I'm, I mean, it's it's an all-around performance right now from the team, and I'm very, very happy with it. We're now on home ice. Chance to take the lead 3-0 in the series, one that I may jump into. I may, I may very well jump into this one to get a 3-0 series lead, but we'll see what the situation entails. First period, 1-0 Vancouver. Okay, Brock Besser gets the goal scoring starter. We are held off the board. Second period, it is 2-0 now. Brock Besser gets a goal, and we are held off the board once again. I don't want to jump into this game. I would rather jump in in the next one if I was going to jump in at all. So I'm going to let the boys ride this one out. I trust. And in the third period, I trusted uh, the blue liners, the two acquisitions at the deadline. Eric Carlson and Owen Power, they get it tied. I know Eric Carlson's not quite a deadline addition, but I'm going to call it anyway. We traded for him midseason. And it's 2-2. I'm glad I didn't jump in. There we go. And in overtime now, a big one. Can we take a 3-0 series lead? Yes, we can. Andre Kuzmenko scores against his former team, and we bounce back. Vancouver blows a two-goal lead in the third to lose 3-2 in overtime, and we love to see that. Now up 3-0 in the series. It's a tough, tough opponent, right? We don't get any benefit um, like Edmonton does playing Vegas, a team, a wild card team, right? Wild card number two or wild card, right? We don't get that luxury. We play another 100-point team, a 50-point team. Although, look at that. Vancouver was on a serious skid coming into the into the postseason. We weren't flying, right? 5-4-1 is not electric, but 2-8 and eight is brutal. Um, and now we have a chance to advance to the second round, right? This is where I want to be. Second round was a minimum requirement. I want to get back to the conference championship. I really do. First period. Ouch. Brock Besser with two goals. Dylan Dubé. Oh, my God. It's literally we just flip-flop teams, basically. Second period, 4-2. to two. Lynn Tolman Thompson scoring. JT Miller scoring shorthanded. I did just rip on their power, uh, penalty kill, and it scored, so that sucks. Uh, but I'm going to trust again. I'm not ready to jump in just yet. It's 3-0 in the series. I'm, I don't know if I can come back from a two-goal deficit. We do have the majority of shots, but uh, uh, wow, Vladar is in net. Why is Vladar in net? I don't like that. Spencer Knight, I mean, I, they might have pulled him after the first. Either way, it did seem to spark the team where we won that period 2-1. to one. We need another two-goal third. Can we get it here? We can't. Tyson Joe scores shorthanded again. Oh, God. Um, so many shorthanded goals now in that game. I think there was two. That's crazy. Uh, two shorties is really the big difference in that one. If we would have just kept those off the board and maybe scored on the power play, I think we would have been fine. But 3-1 in the series. I'm not pushing the panic button just yet. We've been good when we've traveled to Vancouver, so we get another chance to do so here. Let's see if we can get it done. Let's let gentlemen sweep. Let's do it. First period, one nothing. Beautiful. Mangiapane scoring on Logan Thompson. Second period, it is one nothing. Can we? You know, we're, we're gonna slow some. We're only up one nothing. JT Miller scores. I'm jumping in. I'm jumping in. I I knew this. I knew this was gonna happen. I should have jumped in at the start so I didn't have to score a goal. I could just. Waited out here, but nope, it is tied. We're jumping in with about 17 minutes to go. A bunch of X factors. They have they actually got more gold X factors than we do, which is kind of crazy. Uh, we do have more like depth in 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 X factors, I'd say. But anyway, here we go. 17:20 to go in the period. We lose the face off to Pedersen, who finds Hughes, who gets it picked off by Tage Thompson. Tage Thompson will take the clapper. Zykov. Oh, we popped off the helmet. That's a th we can do that now. Goaltender interference. Oh, I'm just crashing the net. Man. Oh, man. I didn't realize. Did they add that? Because I don't remember ever popping the goalie's helmet off. That's crazy. Um, but now we're shorthanded, guys. We are shorthanded um, in, a, in a game where it's tied. So we really have to make something happen. Carlson gets knocked off the puck. But J.J. Paterka now with it. We're just going to skate around our man here. 
Uh, we're just going to go ahead. Oh, nope. Just kidding. We got to the center of the ice. Eric Carlson's there. We find Noah Hannafin. I don't like the fact that Noah Hannafin's down there. We're going to go over to Eric Carlson. Carlson down low to Paterka. Paterka in tight. And Shillington is going to pick that one up. Uh, I almost said Luke Hughes. Brock Besser now with the puck. Brock Besser finds Quinn Hughes. Quinn Hughes finds Pedersen. Eric Carlson now on the check there. Connor Zari. Uh, we're going to put a little pressure on Quinn Hughes. He's going to find Brock Besser, who gets around the hip check of Hannafin. Besser shoots off the post. Zari, let's go down and around over there to Eric Carlson. We'll go up and over to Noah Hannafin, who's basically playing forward. I don't know why. Tage Thompson will dangle a little bit with him. Can, we, can he make some magic happen shorthanded? We shoot. It's loose in front. The puck is still down low. It's loose. Tage Thompson will go down and around. Ah, we couldn't find Lindholm, but we are going to keep the forecheck on. Quinn Hughes is going to get that thing up, and Boakvist gets murdered. JT Miller now. Pedersen, I get interfered with. What a pick set there by Brock Besser. Um, and, but a great save from Spencer Knight. Oh, man. Things are looking... This is fun. This is good. This is this is what we want, right? That's a bit, a bit of back and forth. It's not a guarantee that I'm going to score goals, right? It never is. Um, but for now, guys, I think we're looking pretty solid. Uh, the penalty obviously doesn't help. Heronic, good poke check there. A good stick lift from Huberto. Poke check, Huberto. There we go. We got a chance at a two-on-one. Can Huberto get around his man? Can we go to the back door? We can't. Peltier. Uh, does does pick up the puck there. We're going to go to the point to Brizgalov. Oleg Brizgalov will shoot. Ooh, actually, that wasn't too far off. Mason Jackson and Brizgalov on the penalty kill together. Brizgalov gets stuck in quicksand. Nils Hoglander shoots, but does uh, get leveled at the after it. Uh, Huberto gets knocked down, but Lakaramaki, Lakaramaki against his former team, shoots. Big glove save there by Logan Thompson. I got to remember that the glove hand is the opposite hand, I believe, for Thompson. We have an offside now as well, um, and now we have a chance. We have a chance to, uh, at five on five, we've been getting some decent shots off. I just got to get one of these to go in. <clears throat> I think the chances, I think Vancouver's probably had the better of the opportunities at this point, but I think we're fine. I think we're fine. Um, sorry, my my Roomba is, is stole my dog's toy. Anyway, we're going to ignore what the Roomba's doing right now. Uh, Tage Thompson, Rotti. Oh, I was going to say Tage Thompson almost intercepted that one, but no, he did not. Dmitry Zykov, though, turns on the Jets. He tries to cut to the middle. Tage Thompson's there. Dmitry Zykov. Can we get, get a little bit of a, a cycle going? No, we can't. But Tage Thompson's long reach is able to keep that one away from danger. Uh, let's get... Oh, my God. A big hit there on Kuzmenko. In front is Tage Thompson. He's wide open in front. And we have taken the lead. TNT Tage Thompson. Man, I've been waiting to say that one. Uh, it's, I have not scored with Tage Thompson, actually. He's been more of a playmaker for me. But seeing him parked out in front of the net there, no chance there on the back check from Atu Rati. He just loses him, right? He just falls asleep. And then the one T of Tage Thompson means this thing is going to get wired into the wide open cage. I mean, that is wide open as you like. Um, but hey, there we go. Tage Thompson up there in points. I don't see any more Calgary players. So Tage Thompson and Zykov, they got cold there for the couple games. Uh, but now, now we got a chance to get some more points on the board and... Uh, we just got to protect this lead. We get Lindholm. Oh, my goodness. The shot rings off the post. Oh, my word. That was almost an absolutely beautiful shot. Lindholm now picks it off, finds Huberto. Huberto, we're going to go to Mangiapane. Ah, the, the puck is just loose in front. We're throwing it on. Not exactly what I wanted to be doing, but uh, Pedersen now. Power. Can we just get that away from the front of the net? Spencer Knight. There we go. We actually are just going to pass that thing out because Huberto... Now is a chance. Oh, it's Quinn Hughes. Yeah, I'm not getting around him. We are going to go down low. Self-pass. Mangiapane's there. The good checking from the uh, the defenseman. Oh, man. Uh, whoever it was. Besser shoots. Knight saves. We'll get that one out to power again. Mangiapane, just get it out of the zone. We'll just windmill it. There we go. Can we go into Lindholm? We shoot. Short side. Can we get our own rebound? No, we can't. Heronic, though, does get it up to Nils Hoglander. Mangiapane, get off the ice. You're exhausted, my guy. Mason Jackson. Oh, no. Hoglander. He passes up the breakaway. And Spencer Knight covers it. Hoglander was all alone in front of the net with a chance to tie the game. And now he passed it. He passed it to Quinn. Oh, my God. Ouch. Uh, we're gonna go, we are going to go with lockdown defense right now. Yeah, there we go. Uh, lockdown defense. Sorry. I'm just wanting to make sure that my Roomba. Oh, you guys don't hear my Roomba. Oh, God. Uh, and they are gonna, oh, uh, yeah, yeah, that was, that was terrible. My freaking Roomba, of course, it's going off right now, um, when I'm trying to, 
to, to, to win this game. It's now tied. We have a chance to go into overtime, but we have two minutes to avoid that fate. I think we can do it. I think we've had some opportunities. We've rung one off the post, so have they. Uh, but Pod Colson uh, is going to find Hoglander. Hoglander finds Rati. Eric Carlson with a good hit. Tage Thompson, good back check to pick up that puck. Uh, Kuzmenko does get it knocked off. Why are you on the ground? Who are... Bokvist, why are you on the floor? Tage Thompson with a windmill around his man. Tage Thompson to the front of the net. Zykov, oh, can't pick up the puck. Logan Thompson does. 17 seconds to go. It is tied. Offensive zone draw. I considered pulling the goalie, but 17 seconds is way too long. Like, what? What is that hit? That's interference. The puck was long gone, ref. What are you looking at? Either way, we got an opportunity here. We can't win the tie-up. Zadorov, we do win it back from him. Can we? Yes, we can. Kuzmenko. Kuzmenko does get knocked down. Kuzmenko with nine seconds to go. Zadorov is just going to protect it behind the net. No, he's going to pay long stretch pass to JT Miller. Mason Jackson, we're going to protect this thing. Oh, God. Uh, I don't know why power. Why, why, why is he tweaking like that? Anyway, we're going into overtime here, guys. A chance to advance in this series. Pretty good third period, I'd say. The shots, shots were even. Okay, so Superstar is about the... I know I can go like an entire period just kind of possessing the puck and preventing shots on goal. I think I think this is a good balance. I think Superstar is where we want to be at. Uh, Zykov, though, against Peterson on the draw. We are going to win that one. Kuzmenko does pick it up. There's Tage Thompson. Tage Thompson, power move to the net. He shoots. Oh, couldn't quite get that thing to come off. Zykov now. We're going to go back to the point to Eric Carlson. We'll go to, hey, that's interference. That is interference. Oh, my word. Bokvist, the shot is blocked. Carlson. It's loose in front. Tage Thompson's battling for it. Oh, he's got, he's got Canucks flying all on the ice. Quinn Hughes now goes over to Elias Pettersson. Elias Pettersson dangles through one, tries to go through two, but Andre Kuzmenko is there with a great, oh my God, back check, but a terrible, uh, a terrible pass. Can we get it up? There we go. We get it up to Kuzmenko now. Wow, Kuzmenko's been kind of like everywhere, guys. We're going to go down and around to Dmitry Zykov. Can we go back down low to Kuzmenko? Kuzmenko. Uh, find Tage Thompson. Nope. He wanted to go back to Eric Carlson. Got it. Um, Carlson now with the puck behind the net. We are just going to actually just keep skating with it. We're going to go up off the boards to Huberto. Beautiful Huberto. Shoot low. Oh, it's there. Zykov can't get the rebound. A good defensive stick. Mason Jackson now with Hoglander. Huberto. Get that thing up. Mangiapane finds Lindholm. Lindholm. They're late on the change. Lindholm. A breakaway in overtime. And he scores. And Lindholm has sent your Calgary Flames into the second round of the playoffs. Eliminating the Vancouver Canucks in five games. A bad change from the Vancouver Blue Liners. Bad giveaway, right? Led to a bad change. And Lindholm made him pay. But that was huge. What a, what a goal there from Elias Lindholm. Very, very happy to see that one go in. Uh, and the fact that I didn't screw that up, that always makes me happy. You know, playing the game, those of you that are, I know everybody that uh, watches my videos wins every single time they play Chell. So, unfortunately, I'm the one doofus who loses games in Chell, apparently. So, <laughs> um, I'm very happy to see that one go in. And, man, oh, man, we have a, a, a... Some of these games went to... Some of these series went to seven. But the Edmonton Oilers are going to advance. We got the Battle of Alberta in round number two. We are going through the gauntlet, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, the gauntlet. Dmitry Zykov revenge revenge game. Absolutely. Edmonton Oilers now with Alexi Lafreniere up to an 89. He is a late bloomer. Absolutely. It's it's got to be statistical growth because they're probably I mean, it's he, uh, he didn't even have he's not had really that good of a season until this year. I guess at 26, he's a late bloomer, but still. Uh Torsten Hedin, that that that's third overall pick back in 2026. That's ridiculous. With Dry Settle, 99 overall McDa Oh my god, he made it to 99, guys. Holy smokes. This is a ridiculous team. And there is Jorgen Rensfeld, 83 medium elite. Still think that we had the right decision there, getting Zykov over Rensfeld. Um, that's a really uh, and, and their defensive core is pretty solid too. It's really good. This, oh, this is a scary team. It's probably the weakest part of their team is the goaltending. We'll see what we can do here. This is an intimate. I can understand why they won our division. They, they are a very, very intimidating looking team. Although the records aren't that far apart, right? They were seven points ahead of us, eight points ahead of us. I think so. Uh, yeah, two overtime wins, six points ahead of us. Six points ahead of us. There we go. Uh, so that's, I mean, that's not that far ahead of us, but it's enough when you have 113 points. That's, that's substantial, right? You start to get worried, but hey, we, did, we dealt with Vancouver. Can we deal with Edmonton? First period, 2-0. Mangiapane and Tage Thompson. Beautiful. 
love to see the shots in our favor, right? That's the thing. We got to get on Dostal. We need to be the aggressors with the shots. Second period. 3-0 now. Tage Thompson on the power play. And in the third period, Lafreniere gets his revenge goal, but Elias Lindholm nets the empty netter. And it's a 4-1 win. Very similar to our first game in the last series. Very, very happy uh, with this one. That's great. That's a great start, right? Like, I'm, I'm just... Really like starting with a win, obviously. I mean, I'd love to be, be ahead rather than losing. Yeah, crazy. Um, but no, like winning this game on the road, like whatever happens in game two here, I can still, I don't feel the pressure no matter what happens. I believe in this team. First period, nothing happens. So see, like I can still believe. There's no panic. There's no panic right now. Second period. <laughs> Ouch. No panic. Their top three guys, though, just each scored a goal and may have woken up. Third period, Zari tried his best, but Borgalt uh, gets one back in a 4-1 response. So we're level on aggregate, 5-5 in the series. Uh, we'd be going into extra time if this was the UEFA Champions League, but it's not. Um, it is the Stanley Cup playoffs. <laughs> we're now on home ice after stealing one on the road. Listen, all we have to do is win our home games from here on out, and we'll be fine. So just start out good in the first period again. I think that's a big thing for us. we got to get good starts. First period, 3-1. That's not a good start. Ruzishka was a good start, but Bouchard, McDavid, Borgalt, don't like to see that. Second period, it's 4-1. Taylor Hedin. And in the third, oh my god. They just went off on us. And 8-1 uh, is brutal. What was the problem here? Mangiapane, Brisgala, Power, Jackson, yikes. Okay, maybe it's time to move the blue liners around a bit. Um... Maybe, maybe a minus one on the second line is not that bad. Um, I can't really... I don't want to mess too much with this second line because Paterka, we've seen, is not the best defensively there. Owen Power up with Carlson, Boakvist, and Jackson. I think would be a good pairing. Power and then Carlson. I mean, that's lefty-righty, lefty-righty, lefty-righty. I mean, we could move Mahanifin up, but for now, I think we're going to do this. Two offensive-minded defensemen next to each other was probably a bit too much when facing the kind of firepower we had here uh, with the Edmonton Oilers. So... Don't like getting outscored 12 to 2 in the last two games, but that's the good thing is it was only two games. We're down 2-1. We got a chance to tie up the series here against Edmonton. Game four on home ice. Just win this one. Just cut the losing streak, please. Because if we don't, we're in trouble. First period, 2-1. Okay, closer. Dry saddle Bouchard, but Kuzmenko answers. Don't like the fact that we really haven't been the, the the dominant side in this series since game one. Games two and three were pretty heavily Edmonton, and now game four, Edmonton starts off strong again. Second period, oh my word, they've started off even stronger, four to one. And in the third period, we pull two back on the power play, but it's four, three. Probably score looks a little tighter than the game actually felt. We're down three, one in the series right now. It's do or die time. It is do or die. Question is, what do we do? <laughs> um, what do what what do we do? Do we do we move Zykov down to the second line and move Lindholm up because he's a bit more defensive? I mean, he's a minus three. I mean, I, our top guys are all minuses. We're getting well. We got shelled this series so far. We're not putting up many goals for. Um, yeah, I mean, it's not looking great. It really is not looking great now, is it? Get a plus two there. Uh, we'll put Owen Power, uh, there, because he can play on the right side, and then Bokovist with Briskolov. I think is fine. So we'll move Hannafin up with Carlson, get a, maybe the shutdown ability on the top pairing will help. I, I really don't want to jump into this game, right? It's 3-1. I might have to, but I really want to save it to potentially get to game seven or in game... Oh, shit. Down one nothing. 15 seconds into the game is not how I wanted it to go, but hey, it woke us up. Two power play goals. Man, Japane, Paterka, and Bouchard answers. It's like the same five guys scoring for them this entire series. It's crazy. Um, but what a first period in response. They scored early, and we did not hesitate to fire back. Second period, it is 4-3. Oh, it's gonna, this is a huge third period. We really need... There we go. An insurance marker from Andre Kuzmenko. And a huge, huge period we need defensively because we know Edmonton's capable of lighting the lamp at will. Mangiapane scores on the power play. Tage Thompson scores. And we respond with a 9-3 bounce back after getting throttled just a couple games ago. Right, last game we lost 4-3. We kind of woke up offensively. We have arrived. It's 3-2. We're heading back home where we lost both games in the series. It's time to make amends in front of the hometown crowd. 
We need to win this one. I'm not changing the lines. Things look good. Obviously, nine three wins. I'll take three goals against. I will. I think I, we just got to need to trust our offense to put up more than three. First period, nothing, nothing. Wow, a, a quiet period for once in this series. Second period, we're up one nothing. Connor Zari and Zach Hyman answers almost immediately in the third period here. It is 1-1. We have a power play and Kuzmenko scores. It's 2-1 for your Calgary Flames. Another power play opportunity allows us to keep the pressure on 5-on-3, 4-on-3. Kuzmenko scores the insurance marker. Two from Kuzmenko in the third. We get another power play. The refs are blowing whistles all over the place. And with one minute to go, we are in fact going to come back from 3-1 down and go to a game seven. Let's go game seven against probably the toughest test we will face in this postseason. The winner oh, uh, is, is the winner sees Colorado in the next round, which is just yikes again, dude. We if we make it back to the cup, we have gone through the gauntlet. I'm keeping the lines the way they are. Huge, huge two games from us. Game three, and we're jumping in in the third period no matter what. I mean, unless we're up by like 12. But in the, I, I'd love to be up by 12 and not jump in. But here we go. First period, nothing, nothing. Edmonton does have the advantage in shots, though. Second period, 2-1. McDavid and Dreisaitl score. Dmitry Zykov on the power play. And we now jump in needing two goals to win this game and needing to stop 99 overall McDavid on Superstar with 97 Leon Dreisaitl on Superstar. Oh, my God. This is uh, – they have a 100-rated offense. I didn't even know it could get up that high uh, in franchise mode. I, I, I assume 99 would be the cap, but that is not the case. We're on the power play as we start this one, and they are going to uh, pick that off. Hadeen is going to get that puck down the ice, but not all the way. We now find Dmitry Zykov. Little drop pass there to himself because, of course, Tage Thompson in tight, shoots. Tage Thompson scores, and we have tied the game early here on the power play. Tage Thompson splits the defense, and we've tied it here in game number seven. In game seven, Tage Thompson gets his 16th point of the postseason. He shows up when it matters the most, guys. Like, I know Zykov is probably better during the regular season, but Tage, last year's Con Smythe winner, showing up big again. Tage Thompson now getting knocked off the puck. McDavid with the puck now. Nurse finding McDavid. He's got it. He's he's going to shoot. We prevent that. Elias Lindholm now. Can we get around? Ah, he does. He does get the poke check in there. We got to get the rebound. Dostal force him to cover that thing. Ah, absolutely. Uh, and I think I'm going to try and keep the boys as fresh as possible to make that line change early, right? Tage Thompson getting leveled there, rocked. I mean, a, kind of a buddy pass, not going to lie, but <laughs> he got, does get rocked. They got to make the hit, right? Um, here we go. Zykov now against the first line. Yikes. Um, I've been saying yikes a lot just because this, I mean, seeing 99 overall McDavid on Superstar just is is scary. But we do knock him down there. Beautiful. Uh Carlson just gets the, get that thing deep. Ooh, I almost went off the back of Dostal. Carlson now on Hadeen. He, uh, Hadeen finding Nugent Hopkins. We, oh my word, what a hit by uh, Noah Hannafin. And it springs Eric Carlson, who spin a to the middle, but we can't get the pass away. Nugent Hopkins finding Zach Hyman. The hip check from Huberto. We'll get it back to him. Zykov now with a bit of room. Zykov shoots Dostal with a save. And we are going to make him freeze that. Look at our first line is almost ready to come back out, guys. That's the thing. We're, our first line's almost ready to go. And a couple big hits should have tired out their first and second line pretty significantly. So I'm I'm kind of happy with this. We're going to push. Nah, we can't get the push to win. Bouchard, though, behind the net. He's going to go, wow, uh, up the ice, up to Darnell Nurse. Nurse now goes to Radish. Mason Jackson slows him down. Lekaramaki. There we go. Get that puck up and out. Paterka, get it to him. Oh, like Aramaki. I thought I really wanted to get it to him. And we're just going to get that thing out of the zone. Ed is not going to go far enough for icing, though. That's good news. Darnell Nurse has to be careful with it. Finds Bouchard, who gets it to Borgalt. And they are out, but no further than Paterka, who gets leveled. But Owen Power picks it up. Owen Power, let's go down and around the net. It's Mason Jackson. Paterka's one-timer is blocked by Radish, who's now got a chance at a breakaway. Lakaramaki with a good back check. Keeps him away from the front of the net. Mason Jackson now trying to stop him. Paterka with a block on that one-timer attempt. Borgold, power with a great block. Connor Zari, let's just get that thing in. Oh, Mason Jackson will take the clapper. He misses the net. 
Rensfeld now on the fourth line. Their 83 overall fourth liner, his revenge series, and we'd knock him down in the corner. Bouchard, though, with the between the legs that was kind of pointless. Lavoy now with the puck. He's going to go down low to Foudy. Foudy gets that puck up. Tage Thompson now with the puck. We got a chance at a two-on-one. Tage Thompson, they're going to take the pass. Tage Thompson scores with five minutes left. And Tage Thompson, TNT, with his second goal in this third period, puts us ahead in game seven. His second of the night, his 10th of the postseason. Now leading all players in points in the postseason. Oh, man, you'll love to see that. I saw Kale McCarr up there. Don't worry. I saw you, Kale. We're coming for you. We just need to play some smart defense here. We've been, we've been able to keep them pretty quiet. Tage Thompson. Little dangle. Oh, Tage. Holy moly. Oh, my goodness. What a goal that could have been for the Hattie. We'll go ahead and shoot that one there. Tage Thompson now with the puck. Tage gets in front. Tage tries to tuck it. We got full pressure. Tage Thompson tries to bat that thing out of midair. Tage now with the puck. Let's go back to the point. Tage, no, he's exhausted. He's been doing a lot for us. Kuzmenko, Brizgalov, can, can he get the shot away? Lindholm does get that thing down in the corner. Wins the stick lift, wins the puck battle. Elias Lindholm with the Michigan. Oh, God, that was a little greedy, wasn't it? Tage Thompson, one-timer in the slot is saved. Tage Thompson now with the puck. The clapper goes in the glove of Dostal. He's going to pass it out to McDavid. Leon Dreisaitl, we're going to knock him down. Tage Thompson in front. I tried the tuck. It didn't work, but it's okay. We still have the puck. Eric Carlson now with it. Eric Carlson to Tage Thompson in front. There's the hat trick. We had the pressure going, and we capitalize, and we'll see you in the conference finals. The hat trick from Tage Thompson, the natural hattie here in the third period to give us the lead in a substantial fashion with just 14 to go. Man, guys, we were styling on him there. That felt good. Um, oh my word. Dmitry Zykov loses the face off. Dante Fabro, they do have a, a healthy line again. Spencer Knight almost decided to pass it. They have an empty netter, uh, empty net. I couldn't shoot it with Spencer Knight. I was gonna freeze that though. Um, absolutely no doubt in my mind. Um, here we go. Here we go. Big, big face off against Nugent Hopkins. We jumped too soon. He's gonna win it. They're gonna go to Broberg. Hyman shoots. The tip is not there. Hi uh, we're gonna protect the front of the net. They're gonna shoot. Spencer Knight pass that thing out. And we have made it back to the Western Conference Finals after some dominant display there in the third period. How did that one go? Two shots and guy, it's still on Superstar. It's still on Superstar. Um, I know, I know. I'm listen. I, I'm trying to make it as tough as possible as I can. Uh, but man, when Tage Thompson does what he did, he's a goal per game so far in this postseason. Obviously, the hat trick in Game Seven when it matters the most. And now we take on the Colorado Avalanche in the conference finals. Now, not as dominant as they may have been in the past. They still have elite, elite talent, and they're in the Western Conference Finals, so who cares about their 46 wins? They've got McKinnon. They've got Rantanen. Those two guys are point per game. McKinnon with 15. Holy cow. Gabriel Landeskog also doing well. Their, their team is built more about depth. Really, really strong depth, but not the best in the world. Their defense, though, Bo Byram, the Sabres uh, legend, um, with Devin Tays, Cal McCarr at a 98. I mean, really, it's 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 all about the elite talent with these guys. Then in goal, Georgiev has developed a couple X factors, but again, I'd say we still have the edge there. We'll see how this series goes. Uh, I don't know if I need to make any line changes. It looked good against Edmonton. We're going to keep it the way it is until it shows me it's not going to work. That's when I'll make the changes. First period, 1-0 Colorado. Miko Rantanen gets it started. Second period, 2-0. Ryan Hartman scoring. Third period, we tied it. Oh, my God. Tage Thompson with two. Tage Thompson is on fire. Andre Kuzmenko does get the tying goal. I'm hyping up Tage. But McKinnon's goal made it three. Kuzmenko's goal tied it. Now in overtime, nobody scored. Oh, my word. Double overtime. We're going to lose it with Arbor Zhekai. Oh, my goodness. We are going to lose that one in double overtime. Brutal. Tage Thompson with 13 goals is crazy. We are the home ice team, though, which is nice to see. And it's nice to see the team gaining locker room chemistry. The fans are only at 72 happiness. I don't know how you... I don't know why... Calgary fans in the comments, are you guys upset because we made it to the Western Conference Finals? Because you were, guys were loving it in the regular season, and now you're upset. I'm sorry. I don't I don't understand. But anyway, here we go. Game two. A game we need to win. 
first period. All right, we've woken up offensively. Kuzmenko's uh, got the ice started for us, got the game started for us. Kerfoot scoring for them 1-1 one, one after 1. After 2, it is 2-1 two to one with Elias Lindholm scoring. Beautiful. And in the third, oh, there's the offense. Three more, Carlson, Hannafin, and Zykov. A little bit all over the place, but that top pairing scoring 2. I think we found ourselves a top pairing there, boys. I think we're pretty, pretty set there. And you know what? 1-1 one, one after 2. Uh, don't love losing one on home ice, but it, it is what it is. I like the bounce back performance with a 5-1 win after a 4-3 double overtime loss. Easy to get in your own head after double overtime battling back and everything like that. But we showed that we could do the right thing. We did, and we put it to work in game number two. Let's keep the momentum rolling. First period of game three, nobody scoring, but an equal amount of shots essentially between each team. Second period sees us get one more with Mason Jackson. Little help from the blue line today um, in this series. And here we go. Game three, third period. 1-1. One, one. Bowen Byram scoring on the power play. And we head to another overtime game. And this time it is still the Colorado Avalanche winning in overtime as Cal McCarr pulls that one out. Uh, it's a little bit tough to see. It is 2-1. Eric Carlson leading the way with points. I mean, it's crazy, guys. You know what I need to do? I think I need to move Zykov back up to the top line. We no longer... I, I, don't, I think we need Zykov back on that, that top line. I really do. I think Lindholm on that second line is going to be good for us. Um, that's just the one change we're going to make. I mean, the offense has been there. It hasn't been there. It's been there. It hasn't... You know, it's been up, up and down this series. Game four, though, must win Carolina throttling the Tampa Bay Lightning there in the East. But we're focused on our game here in game number four. First period, beautiful. Paterka, Zari, Carlson, and Anthony Mantha scoring for them. But a three-goal first period, I will take that any day of the week. Second period, beautiful. Nathan McKinnon scores for them, but Tage Thompson and Mangiapane, our top six, respond. And in the third period, we put, oh my God, we put up five goals, 10 to three. Guys, I found the offense. It's here. It has arrived. Um, 10 to, oh wow, that, what an, 10 to three. You don't see that very often in the Western Conference. You don't see that in the Conference Finals, let alone Western Conference Finals. Yeah, absolutely. Like, I I, I can't remember the last time there was a 10-goal game by one team in a, in a playoff game, let alone Conference Finals. Uh, it doesn't matter, though, because you don't win this series based on goals scored. You win it based on games won, and we've only won two. So we got to win two more of the next three, but we're in a good position to do so. First period, 2-1, beautiful. Hartman gets it started, but power shorty in Zykov. That's that's what I like to see, moving him back up. He's going to reward me with the, a goal in the next game. Second period, 3-3, three, three. Travis Boyd scoring shorty. Zykov on the power play, but Devin Tays there. This is a big game. I'm almost tempted to jump in and see if we can take a 3-2 series lead, but I'm going to trust. We're going to watch, and I'm going to trust. Nychuskin scores. It's 4-3 Colorado. We get a power play opportunity. Can't answer on that one. We're about halfway through this first period. Pa Colorado gets the power play. We kill it off. And Paterka scores a quick one on a power play there. It's 4-all. With just four minutes to go, Zykov scores. It's 5-4. Tage Thompson scores. It's 6-4. The insurance marker. Tage Thompson, man, he is scoring goals. Paterka showed up and Zykov back on that top line. It is 6-4, and that's the final, boys. It is 3-2 in the series. One of the next two just got to win it, and we are back in the Stanley Cup Finals. Here we go. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Carolina awaits the winner. Will we be facing Carolina, or will we go to Game 7? Let's do it. Let's win it. Let's, let's win it. First period, 1-1. One, one. Miles Wood scores for them, but Lindholm answers for us. Second period, three goals there for Colorado. Devin Tays, I should say. It's 3-1 now for Colorado. 3-1 in that one. Can we mount another comeback? Devin Tays scoring two to get Colorado in the lead. We got a power play now. We can't get one back there. Halfway, we need one here soon. I don't want to let it be late. We really need one now, and they get the insurance marker. It's a 4-1 win for Colorado. And we head to seven. Oh boy. Oh boy. Game seven again. I mean, guys, we have gone through an absolute gauntlet of teams here. We have faced no, no cheapies here. No easy wins. Nothing like that. Some really, really tough teams we played. But it all comes down to this game here. Will we head back to the Stanley Cup Finals or are we heading home? First period. One nothing Colorado. Bowen Byram scores that one. 
Second period. It's 2-1 to us. It is 2-1 to us. Whew. Eric Carlson, I saw, got a goal. I'm just too excited. We're going to let it ride. I should have jumped in, but we're going to let it ride. Ross Colton scores. Ross Colton scores. I wanted to avoid jumping in if I could, but I, I have to. It's game seven, halfway through the third period, guys. I, I got to get in there. It's 2-2 now. I can't afford to let this thing potentially get out of hand with not enough time left to make a difference. And... We can still get scored on while I'm playing, so I'm obviously not going to be perfect on defense. We've seen that. Am I going to be punished at times? We'll find that out. But Noah Hannafin now, can we skate it into the zone? We'll get it to Tage Thompson. Tage Thompson will just kind of dangle with it. There we go. Uh, Eric Carlson will get that thing over to Hannafin. Take the clapper. Oh, it's there. Zykov in front. Can't get the rebound. Ross Colton picks it up. They did have a broken stick. Bowen Byram jumping in the rush. A big hit there from Noah Hannafin. Can we get that thing to Zykov? Tage Thompson. Not to Zykov. Oh, my God. Hannafin? Okay. Um, don't know why he's jumping into the rush like that, but uh, I'd rather him stay back on defense. Nychuskin. Like Eric Carlson, I'm cool with jumping in the rush. And I'm, Oh, my God. Huge hit there. Tage Thompson pulls that thing out of the scrum. Tage Thompson to the front of the net. Ar Arbor guy there with the pickoff. And he's going to find Ross Colton, and they're going to be out of the zone. Noah Hannafin playing aggressively defensively. Uh, Mangiapane now in the second line are out there. Arturi Lekkinen gets it stolen off of him. He was too indecisive. Let's just take the shot. Mangiapane gets knocked down there, but Lindholm responds quickly. Uh, does pick up the puck. We're going to find Huberto. We take the shot. It is off the legs there. Mangiapane wins the battle in the air, but cannot put it down on his stick. Gabriel Landeskog is going to get knocked down trying to dangle around Noah Hannafin. Eric Carlson winning a puck battle down low, but he does then lose it. It is Ross Colton down in the corner. Ross Colton now with the puck. He's going to take the shot, but it's blocked by Hannafin. Hannafin then blocks the pass. A shot there from Spencer Knight. I mean, they're all over the place in the offensive zone. Uh, they were exhausted. They needed that whistle. 5.27 to go, though. Still tied. But just a big hit there. Who was that? Was that Huberto? Huberto throwing the shoulder. I love it. Uh, points now. Elias Lindholm takes the lead in points. Wow. Guys, he has been amazing. I'm so happy I kept him from the start. Uh, here we go. Big win, though. A big win. A face-off win. Can we do it? Yes, we can. Okay, okay. I was already talking like we need to win it, and we did win it. Lakaramaki. Lakaramaki. Oh, he's, he's not around Kale McCarr. They got their big boys out there. De Devin Tays now, the scorer of two goals in the last one. That pretty much sealed the deal. Is going to get that thing deep, but we do knock him down. Owen Power picks that puck up. Zari gets to Lakaramaki, who finds Paterka. Steps around his man. Paterka. Toe drag. Paterka scores. JJ Paterka. And we have taken a 3-2 lead with the toe drag right in front of the net. Holy mackerel. John Jason Paterka with the dangle around Georgiev. And he could not get there. The step up at the blue line missed. Kale McCarr not quick enough to get back in time. And we have taken a, a lead. A huge goal there. Huge goal. And I'm going to leave the third line out there. I should have been more attentive on that. But... Our, four, our first line should be able to come out here for the very, very end of the game. A, a big win there. Lakaramaki, just get that thing deep. Makar with a great catch out of midair. He is going to catch that puck. Turn around, and it's now Nathan McKinnon in the zone. M gets stopped. Nathan McKinnon, good save by Spencer Knight. Okay, we're getting the first line. We are absolutely getting the first line out there. Are you kidding me? I am. I, listen, I'm not playing with fire anymore. We're going to go with lockdown defense for sure. Line one against line one. Big face off. We need to win it. Can we do it? Yes, we do with the stick lift. Now Hannafin goes around. Tage Thompson now with the puck. There we go. He waits. No pinch from Devin Taze. Tage Thompson shot. The rebound is there. He can't get to it. Rantanen. Oh, a big step from Hannafin. And it works. It keeps the puck down deep. Tage Thompson's hip check. Oh, my God. Nasty hip check in the corner. Rantanen. They pull the goalie now. Landeskog gets it into the zone. And it's offside. Okay, I was like, why did we just stop? No, it was offside, but a huge hit. Devin Tays with a great breakout pass. Took a hit to make a play. And an empty net <sighs> awaits us at the other side. They have six. They got the bobsled formation. Eric Carlson's clapper goes off of Tage Thompson. Not even close to on target. Bo Byram is going to circle back with a Landis call. Gets it in. Carlson now with the puck. We're just going to shoot that thing around. Hannafin chopped that thing out of the zone. Bowen Byram, the shot is blocked by Tage Thompson's poke check. And your Calgary Flames are back to the Stanley Cup final. Welcome back. Here we are. Stanley Cup. Here we come.
Oh my goodness, guys. I, I didn't have a voice from the weekend anyway, and I don't know if I'm going to have a voice now either. But we are making the Stanley Cup final. It is now... Um, there we go. $100,000. Thank you, owner. <laughs> um, uh, and now we play the Carolina. Oh my God. They, they were the best. They were the best team in the league, right? Weren't they the president's trophy winning team? They were the insane sicko team that just went bonkers. Yeah. 117 points, 57, 22 and three, 51 regulation wins, 3.84 goals, four per game and 2.87. That is absurd. How have they done in the postseason here? In the entire league, um, they probably, yeah, uh, we can compare ourselves. Uh, they have more, 2.2 more per game, but we are allowing 0.1 fewer per game. Our power play has been much better, and their penalty kill's actually been kind of weak, so that could be an area to look at special teams here in the postseason. But let's take a look at their roster. Let's see, who should I be highlighting and circling? I mean, Jake Gensel at IRL is killing it for them. So we'll see I mean, who they might have gotten in this universe. Uh, Kotkaniemi, Aho, and Svechnikov. Jarvis, Nekesh, and Bunting. I mean, it's pretty much their same roster anyway. Dorofiev, Hedl, and Jordan Greenway. And then Patan, Dvorak, Di Giuseppe. I mean, their top six. Their top six, it, it's almost better than ours. I'm almost willing to give them the benefit of the doubt on the top six. It's close, though. Their defense with Slavin and Pesci, Dumba, Gerard. Dumba! Matt Dumba, did, wait, did we have, yeah, we had Dumba for one year. He's still a minus machine, except for this year. Uh, in the playoffs, he is plus 19. Oh, God, okay, maybe maybe in the playoffs he's decent. But Samuel Girard, Dimitri Orlov, and Zach Whitecloud. I mean, it's a, guys, this is like a mirror image, like if the, to our team. And then Pyotr Kochetkov is their goalie, 87. He's got a 912 and a 274. Stanley Cup Finals, though, guys, anything can happen. It's anybody series, two evenly matched teams. We're where we wanted to be. Now let's go out and get it done. Whew. All right. Game one, Stanley Cup Finals on the road. First period, 1-1. One, one. Okay, Huberto scores for them. Seth Jarvis scores for uh, uh no, I'm sorry. Huberto for us, Jarvis for them. Good God, the red. The red is throwing me off here. Jeez. Um, second period, nobody scores, so I can't screw that one up. But holy cow, the shots. The shots are a big difference in this one. Third period, and boom! Two goals for us, Lindholm and Kuzmenko. The top six, boys. The top six getting it done. 3-1 win. Another solid game one. You know what? The series, some, the series that I feel the most confident in are the ones that we start off very well. <sighs> Good start there. Doesn't matter, though. We, have, we need to win three more. That's what matters. Three more wins. This next game on the road is the one that matters. First period. One nothing, Lakaramaki. <sighs> Great start to this game. Great start to game two. Second period. Okay, Heedle scores for them. It is one to one. And now that it's tied, I am going to slow sim. I, I know I skipped the third period in the first game, but it's the Stanley Cup Finals. Carolina coming back with a vengeance. A lot of shots on goal for Carolina. But Huberto gets the goal. The shot that matters is the one that goes in. We're up two to one with five minutes left in this game two minutes one minute to go no empty netter but no tying goal 2-1 defense has shown up in a big big way here Elias Lindholm good lord buddy 31 points in 21 games I think we're fine with the current ticket prices I don't really care right now uh people will show up if we win back-to-back -back cups that's just my guess uh but now we're on home ice game three on home ice We've not been good on home ice actually in the playoffs, so that this is actually kind of concerning. Actually, maybe maybe not. Maybe we have, maybe not. But apparently not. First shot of the game goes in. After one, it's one nothing. Oh man, you hate to see the first shot go in from the road team. Second period, it's two two. Brizgolov, Oleg Brizgolov scores shorthanded. His first of the postseason is a big one. And JJ Paterka scores for us from that third line. Aho with his second. A massive third period. We get a power play to start it. We can't capitalize on it, though. Five minutes gone. We had a power play. We didn't score, but just Barry Kakaniemi scores for them. A power play opportunity to tie it. It's a five on three, and Mangiapane does do it. That is the difference. The power play. They kill that one off. They get a power play. We kill that one off with 1.30 to go. No, and it's Seth Jarvis with 30 seconds left. With 30 seconds left, he wins it for Carolina. I was ready to talk about overtime. 
but a 4-3 loss in regulation. And the Carolina Hurricanes are not dead yet. There is life yet in them. If we were up 3-0, I'd feel very confident. 2-1. Any, anything can really happen here. Anything can really happen in this game. And it's going to flip the entire series on its head. This may be the one I want to jump into. This may be the one. A 3-1 lead in the Stanley Cup Finals versus a 2-2 after losing two in a row. Yeah, this may be the one I jump into. First period, 1-1. One, one. Heedle on the power play, but Kuzmenko for us, guys. You in the comment section that said Kuzmenko to trade for his rights and sign him. And I gave him $8 million. Thank you for telling me to do that because holy cow... Looks like it was worth it. Second period. All right. Eric Carlson scoring on Kochetkov, and it's 2-1. We have the lead entering the third, and we kill off the remainder of a power play, a hangover power play. We have a power play, but we cannot capitalize on it and get an insurance goal that we need. But Zykov gets one anyway at 5-on-5, five five, and Kuzmenko with another goal, and it's 4-1. to one. It is 4-1 to one in this series, in this game, and this series is flipped on its end. We are up 3-1. Oh, we have it by we have it by the jugular at this point. We have this series in our the palm of our hands. We control our destiny. We need to just do whatever we can here to win this game. We're on the road. We're in Carolina. The boys are happy in the locker room with all those pop-ups at the top. They're all loving life. Zykov, Brzezgalov, and uh and Eric Carlson. But here we go. First period. 1-1, one, one, but okay, they scored shorthanded to start. We bounce back immediately and get a power play. It's even. It's a wash, but the shots, holy moly. Second period, Mason Jackson with the goal. It is 2-1. to one. It is 3-1. Huberto scores shorthanded, but Neckish scores just as the power play expires, basically calling that one a wash as well. So we've got a shorthanded goal for either team and a, a, basically a power play goal for both teams. And Elias Lindholm with the insurance marker. Sebastian Ajo doesn't – six seconds later – he doesn't let me celebrate for very long here, does he? Six seconds to go, or six minutes, five minutes, four minutes. Tage Thompson on the power play gets a goal. Two minutes to go. Holy moly, boys, we could do it. I'm going to jump in with just seconds to go. Don't you worry about that. Five, uh, 40 seconds, 30 seconds, 20 seconds. I'm jumping in 20 seconds. I don't think they can score two and 20, and we are going to win the Stanley Cup as long as I don't absolutely chuck, dude. All right, I'm, I'm not going to talk until I see us lifting the cup. Hey, we have 100 offense now. I wonder if that's the chemistry effect. Maybe. Either way, there's a face-off at center ice with 27 seconds to go. We Can we win it? Yes, we can. Kuzmenko now. We're going to get it to Zykov, but we can't get it there. But Kuzmenko, a big hit. A couple big hits. Patan gets nudged. There we go. Carlson, can we chop that thing around? There we go. Tate Thompson, got to win that puck battle, buddy. With 14 seconds to go, we're going up to Hannafin. Hannafin, get the puck out of the zone. We're going to go up to Kuzmenko. Kuzmenko. All right. Just stop. Just settle it. Just settle it. Tage Thompson's in front. Tage Thompson's there. Kochetkov has the puck, and he's going to freeze it. And my favorite animation in the game. It's got to pop up, right? It's got to pop up. No, oh, what? Oh, my God. Two steamrollers there in the offensive zone. Zykov and Kuzmenko. They don't pop it up. Are you kidding me? I love when they pull the cup out of the box and put it on the stand. That, that is the best. That is the best feeling in the world. Here we go, Zykov. Can we win the faceoff? We can. Kuzmenko's there. Kuzmenko, one-timer. He shoots. Doesn't matter. 5-3 win. And back-to-back -back Stanley Cup champions. Write it in the history books. Calgary etching their name on the cup for the second straight year with the large part of our core sticking around. Now, defensively, we did make some acquisitions and... A couple moves, right? Nick Jensen's not here. Obviously, he was a, a big part. I got to say, for a third third defensive man, he was a big part. But man, oh man, did we get it done. I mean, the, the top six, it is the it is the core that is carrying us, right? Lindholm, 33 points right now. 22 hits, plus four only. A lot. I mean, we got shelled a lot in that uh, Edmonton series. That one was fun. Colorado was also fun. Back-to-back -back game sevens. Only took us five here, losing one. Um, winning it on the road. You know, you love to win it on home ice. That's the ideal scenario. But, hey, we won the cup. That's what matters. And we're going to have Captain uh, Captain Jonathan Huberto for the second season in a row is going to step up to the plate and lift the Stanley Cup first for us. Sparklers and confetti and just smiles all around for the boys in white 
and we are going to win that one. Beautiful beard though on uh, on Huberto. That is well, that is well groomed by the way. But um, oh man, back to back uh, championships here. It's it, it's awesome. Like this series has been so much fun. Uh, we got to give it to Tate Thompson next. We have to give it to big old TNT. I mean, he scored so many crucial goals. He stepped up when we needed him to. Huge, huge goals for Tage. Uh, love to see that. Love to see him, uh, you know, really, really thrive here. And I, I'm, you know, I'm still proud that I made the trigger or pulled the trigger and made the trades for both Tage Thompson and Zykov and didn't just settle for one or the other. Elias Lindholm's got to win it. Uh, got to hold the cup. Uh, now that he, uh, you know, is the Con Smythe winner, he had a great, great series. Huberto, Lindholm. Hannafin, guys that have been here since the beginning. You know, it sucks that Rasmus Anderson has not been able to be a part of this. You know, one of my favorites. But you know, get, moving him on and getting Tage Thompson, I think, you know, looking back on it, guys, with the way Tage Thompson has played over the last two seasons, I think we could all agree that that was the right decision. And then, obviously, Andre Kuzmenko, you guys, I give you full credit for that. Trading for his rights was very, very cheap, but we guaranteed we had the opportunity to sign him. We did it. We signed him, and I think for a pretty reasonable price, considering what he has produced for us, a purebred goal scorer, uh, and he's really given this team a lift, has really blossomed into a true first-line winger. Uh, I mean, 90 overall, basically. He's a top sixer, without a doubt, uh, but he is he has been huge, and the whole team has been huge. I love this whole team, guys. We aren't done yet. We have more to do. Can we win three in a row? But man, oh man, what a series. Eric Carlson right in the middle. Got to still figure out that defense, right? Uh, well, that's the one that's situation that's not settled. But I think you guys would say that we've done pretty well considering our decor has felt lacking. And loading up on offensive coaches, loading up on offensive firepower, and getting, I mean, I don't want to say just serviceable. I mean, they're good defensemen, right? They're 85s, 86s, 87s, right? We have good players in front of uh, Spencer Knight. I, and I almost don't want to mess with the Spencer Knight chemistry back there because, we I mean, we know what Spencer Knight will give us. We've now won the cup back-to-back. -back. We've not won the President's Trophy, nor have we been the top team in our division, but we've played best when it mattered most, and it's been awesome, guys. So, really, this has been so, so much fun. Um, and, and, yeah, like I said, I'm not done. I mean, I'm waiting for MLB The Show to drop their uh, opening day rosters, and we'll start a series there for those of you that like my MLB The Show series as well. They are coming. Got my Red Sox... Uh, Got my Red Sox quarters up on today. It's not going to be a good season for us, but hopefully when I manage them in uh, in my own save, we can do well there. But speaking of doing well, back-to-back -back cups, can't think of th anything much better than that. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want to see some more, and I will see you guys in the next one. It's a free for all, free for all.